In this tutorial, I'll be addressing a common but frustrating problem that occurs when working with vector documents in the Affinity app. Now, normally, when you open a vector document, such as an SVG or an AI file, everything works as expected. There's no issue. However, when you try importing that file onto an already existing workspace, you may notice that its contents aren't editable. So let's address why this happens and how to work around it. I'm going to come over here into a new document, and I'm going to place an SVG file onto my workspace. I'm going to click on the Place tool, and I'm going to choose my SVG document, and I'm going to place it there. Now, if I zoom in on this, you can see that this is indeed a vector document. There's no pixelation as I zoom in. However, if I try to edit this document, there's nothing I can do to it. If I try changing the color, you can see nothing happens there. Even if I grab the Nodes tool and try clicking on the individual elements, nothing happens. This document is not editable. And the reason why is because Affinity imports these as embedded documents, which is basically a read-only file. And you can tell over here in the Layers menu by that icon. When you see that icon next to the thumbnail preview, that's how you know that you're working with an embedded document. Now, to work around this, what you can do is select the layer and then click on this button up here that says Edit Document. If you don't see that button, you could also just double-click the layer. So that's what I'll do. I'll just double-click the thumbnail and you'll notice the design will open up in a new tab, and now you can edit these elements. So if you come over here to the Layers menu and expand the group, you'll see the individual elements. Now this document is linked to the embedded file in the other document, so if I make a change in here, for example, if I change this color, I'll come back into the original document, and you can see that change was applied. Now, if I want to work with this document on this workspace without having to toggle back and forth between these tabs, what I could do is I can come back in here, and I could just select these elements and just copy and paste them into the other documents. So I'll copy this, and I'll come back in here. In fact, I'll get rid of the embedded document. We don't need that. And I'll just paste this in here, and now we have separate design elements that we can work with without having to deal with an embedded file. If you found this lesson useful, be sure to check out my Affinity Master Class. It's a collection of over 80 videos where we go over all of the tools and features in the Affinity app, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions, get help from me anytime you need it, and share your work to get feedback from the community. By the end of this course, you will have everything you need to become a master of the Affinity app. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. And as always, thanks for watching.